الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين الذي خلق الأرض كالأرضي والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله الطيبين وعلى من تبعهم إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه ذلك لمن خشي ربه صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الأمين الكريم Respected audience it is very difficult for me to speak to control my emotions and therefore i will not speak much and i will not speak of those incidents that would disallow me to control my emotions maybe all before i mention a few things recite durood sharif allahumma salli ala when i was a student in jamia ashrafia mubarakpur we as the students used to feel upset and sad that how unfortunate it is for us that we did not find the time of ala hazrat imam muhammad raza radiyallahu ta'ala an we did not see the time of huzur mufti azam e hind but after i graduated after i went to al azhar after i went back to india and i completed my studies and then i read the tahqiqat of huzur taj us shariya wa tariqa and i learned the works that he had done and i had seen the fitnas that were arising and how he was firm and steadfast and how he proved his opinions and his fatawa and his points with dalail e shariya which could not be answered by those who were in opposed to what he was saying i felt that without a doubt it is the grace of allah subhanahu wa taala we should not be upset that we did not find the time of ala hazrat we did not find the time of mufti azam e hind radiyallahu ta'ala we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he gave us the era in which huzur taj us shariya lived and we saw him we heard him what a beautiful sight subhanallah it was like never mind the moon being on the earth it was like the sun being on the earth when he was present on a stage or when you went to see him at his residence you would see how he used to glow the beautiful enlightening face of huzur taj us shariya subhanallah so beautiful i have never in awakening i have never seen a more beautiful face than the face of huzur taj us shariya subhanallah in ludhiana punjab once huzur taj us shariya went for the first time and he was on the stage and after the program finished a few men came and they said that huzur there are a few wahhabis and devbandis who wish to ask you a few questions and they work here and we have arguments so they want to ask these questions to you hazrat gives them the permission to come and when they come hazrat asks them what are your questions they said we have no questions give us your hand we do toba from what we believe just by the sight of the beauty and the glowing blessed face of huzur taj us shariya they did toba from their dia the 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 bandiyat and the wahhabiyat and they accepted bar el islam yani the sahih ahl sunnat wal jamaa huzur sayyidi taj us shariya was made the qaim maqam of mufti azam e hind radiyallahu ta'ala in his time yani mufti azam e hind radiyallahu ta'ala himself made huzur taj us shariya his qaim maqam in 1975 when indira gandhi Mm. had declared a state of emergency in india and she had forced a law upon the people of nasbandi castration where people can only have two children no more than that men were forced men were beaten men were shoved into a truck or a police van and taken for castration 
the Muslim Ummah was shaken in Hind. And at that time, Mufti Azam Hind radiallahu ta'ala was alive. And the Devbandi sent the istifta to Qari Muhammad Tayyib, who said that this Nasbandi, this castration is permissible, ma'adullah. The Muslimin of Hind, they sent the istifta to Bareli Sharif. Huzur Mufti Azam Hind radiallahu ta'ala today is famous because of this fatwa. Not only this fatwa, yani this fatwa aids in, the, in Huzur Mufti Azam Hind being known today. And when this istifta came, he handed it to Huzur Taju Sharia and he said, you write the answer to this. And it was Huzur Taju Sharia who wrote the answer to that question. And it is Huzur Taju Sharia's fatwa that went all around him. And it was that fatwa of Huzur Taju Sharia which caused Indira Gandhi to take her law back. This was Huzur Taju Sharia in the life of Huzur Mufti Azam Mahind radiallahu ta'ala after Mufti Azam Mahind radiallahu ta'ala left this world, ulama were saying that now the sun has set. The sun of Bareli Sharif has now set. But later people saw that the sun of Bareli has not set. <laughs> Huzur Taju Sharia rose. And when the sun of Huzur Taju Sharia rose, he became a man whom if we say he was the sawad e azam on his own, it would not be incorrect. If we say that Huzur Mufti Azam Mahind's Beloved Huzur Taju Sharia was the ghost of this time, it would not be incorrect. If we say that Huzur Taju Sharia was the man whom the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam refers to, لَن تَزَالُوا طَائِفَةٌ مِّنْ أُمَّتِي قَائِمِينَ إِلَى الْحَقِّ لَا يَدُرُّهُمْ مَنْ خَالَفَهُمْ حَتَّى يَأْتِي أَمْرُ اللَّهِ Then it would not be incorrect because Huzur Taju Sharia is that personality who protected the Ahlu Sunnah Wal Jama'ah, not only in India, not only in Pakistan and Bangladesh, but Huzur Taju Sharia is that scholar who roamed around Syria, who roamed around Jordan and Yemen, he roamed around Egypt, and he showed to the ulama kiram there that even today, the center of Islam and the markaz of Ahlu Sunnah Wal Jama'ah is Bareli. It was Bareli yesterday. It is Bareli today, and it will continue to be Bareli. And before I finish, before I finish, let me just say that today people may think that the son of Bareli has set, but no. Wallah, it hasn't. The Qazi of Bareli, whom Mufti Huzur Taju Sharia Akhtar Raza Al Azari himself appointed in his life, Huzur Aminul Ummah Mufti Ashjad Raza Khan, his son will rise and he will show that Bareli is still alive. And Bareli will continue until the day of judgment to serve the Ahlu Sunnah Wal Jama'ah. And lastly, I would like to advise all the Muridin, the Khulafa, the Ulama, the Ashikin, that don't forget them words. When you gave your hand in the hand of Huzur Taju Sharia, when you said that you will perform your Salah, you will not lie, you will not do chughli, you will not do these haram acts, you will not associate with the deviants. Remember these pledges that you made when you gave your hand in the hand of Huzur Taju Sharia. Recollect them. Reminisce them and the way to please Huzur Taju Sharia and gain his support today is to ensure that you remain firm on them pledges. If you have not, then today is a time where you make an oath with yourself that from today I will ensure that I will fulfill them pledges that I took. And it is our duty to make sure that we act upon his fatawa, we act upon his opinions, we bring his character into our lives. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Hayati khayrun lakum, wa wafati khayrun lakum. My life is better for you. My demise is better for you. When the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that when I pass away, tu'radu alayya a'malukum. Your a'mal are presented before me. When I see something good, hamidullahu alayhi. When I see something good, I praise Allah for it. And when I see something shar, from the evil, from wrongdoings, from sins, Istaghfartu lakum. Then I seek Allah's forgiveness for you. And for that reason, I plead to you all that don't think Huzur Taju Sharia is gone. As a true naive of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is alive and our a'mal are presented to him. Make sure that you in this world do good a'mal. So when your a'mal are presented to Huzur Taju Sharia, then he makes dua for us. And if we do anything wrong, then he will do maghfirah for us. Jazakumullah khairah. And I apologize for taking more time.